peace be upon you, my dear student. Welcome to peace you. This amal ma'roof to talk about another part for science for third prep. Let's start. In this session, we will talk about revision on unit two, which has titled mirrors and lenses. We will learn some question about this unit and also we will exercise on the model answer for this question. Question number one, write suitable word to complete the following sentences. Please read the question carefully and answer them and send your answer for me on the chat. Then I will receive your answer and also correct the wrong one. Number one, the focal length of the convex lens equals the distance between space and space. He asked you about the definition of focal lens. We know that focal lens for mirror or for lens is the distance between the focus and pool in the mirror. But in the lens, the distance between, yes, optical center and focus. Focal length of the convex lens can be measured from the distance between the optical center and the focus. Optical center, it is a point in the middle of lens, and the focus, it is the point of collection of all refracted light rays. Question number two. Concave lens, space rays falling on it. We know that lenses can be classified into two types, convex lens and concave. What is the difference between the two types of lenses? Convex lens, it is thick at the middle and the thin at the two tips. Concave lens is thin at the center and thick at the two tips. Also, they have two differences. Convex lens has many images that can be formed by it, but concave lens has only one image can be formed by it. Convex lens is called collecting lens as it collects light rays after refraction, but concave lens is called diverging lens as it diverges light rays falling on it. So concave lens diverges, the rays fall on it. Question number three, the focal length of a convex lens equals 10 centimeters. The half radius of the surface is a space centimeter. We know the relation between focal length and the radius. We know that focal length equal half radius of the, the, the uh, surface of the convex lens. So when he asked you about the focal length of the convex lens, when it is equal 10 centimeter, so half a radius of the surface is 10 centimeter as it equals to the focal lens. Another question, number four, the phenomena of the light bouncing off in the same medium when it meets the reflecting surface is called. He asked you about the phenomena. What is the phenomena of light bouncing when it falls on the reflecting surface? This phenomena is called light reflection. Light reflection has two laws. Number one, angle of incidence must be equal angle of reflection. Number two, incident light ray, reflected light ray, and normal all lie perpendicular on the reflecting surface. Question number five. The point that is the middle of the reflecting surface of concave mirror is called what? There are many concepts related to concave mirror. Focus, bull, principal axis, secondary axis. One of these concepts can be defined by the point that in the middle of the reflecting surface, which is called Yes, excellent, my dear student. Bull. Bull is the point that is in the middle of reflecting the surface of concave 
mirror. Question number six. The radius of concave mirror equals space of its focal lens. I answered this before. When we I asked you about the relation between the focus and we know double focus answers this question, you must put double. The radius of concave mirror equals double of its focal lens. Question number seven. Space is the image that can be received on screen. We know that images can be classified into two types, real and virtual. What is the difference between them? The image that can be received on a screen is called real. Why is called real? Because it is formed as a collection of refracted light rays. But when the extension of refracted light rays or reflected light rays can be intersected to form an image, this image is called virtual image. So real image is the image that can be received on a screen. Which mirror and the lens can form this type of image? Concave mirror and convex lens. Question number eight. The incident light rate parallel to principal axis of a concave mirror. It will reflect, pass through. He asked you about passes of rays through concave mirror. We have three passes of rays. One of them when the light incident parallel to principal axis, it will reflect, yes, passing through focus. And the other path of ray, when light rays falls, passing through the focus, they will reflect parallel to principal axis. It is the opposite of this case. The third case, when the light ray falls, passing through the center of curvature, it will reflect on itself as the angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal zero. Another question. Number nine. I asked you about some defect. One of them is called short sightedness and long sightedness. To differentiate between the two types of defect, number one, short sightedness has many reasons, increasing the eye pool diameter increasing is a convexity of eye lens. Number three, decreasing of focal lens. So this type of defect can be detected and can be treated by a medical eye glasses. Its type is, yes, concave lens. Why? To diverge light rays before entering the eye. The second type of defect, which is called long sightedness. What are the reasons of long sightedness? Number one, decreasing of eye pool diameter, decreasing complexity of eye lens, and increasing of focal lens. And also, this defect can be treated by convex lens to collect light rays before entering on the eye lens. Number 10, a vision defect which is due to shortness in the radius of eye sphere. Shortness of the radius of eye sphere causes long sightedness. And we know that the reasons of long sightedness, number one, decreasing of eye pool diameter, decreasing of convexity of eyes, number three, increasing the focal lens. Number 11, the straight line that passes by the pool of the mirror and its spherical center. There are many concepts related to mirror. One of them is the straight line that passes through the pool and the optical center, the center of curvature. This definition related to, yes, I can hear you, principal axis. Principal axis can be defined as a straight line that passes by the pool and spherical center in mirror, but in lens it can be defined as the straight line passing through the two centers of the lens, as lens has two centers because it has two spherical surface. Number 12, the distance between the focus of concave mirror and its pool are called 
distance between focus and the pool. Yes, I can hear you. It is the definition of focal lens. Focal lens, it is the distance between focus and the pool and equal half radius. Number 13. Convex mirror has focal length of 30 centimeters. Then the radius of its spherical surface equal, as we know the relation between focal length and the radius, we know that focal length equal half a radius. So the radius of a spherical surface equal 60 centimeter equal double focal length, 30 by 2 equal 60 centimeter. Another type of question, choose the correct answer. Number one, if a light ray falls passing the optical center of a convex lens, it leaves the lens passing through focus. Number two, barrier to principal axis. Number three, without refraction. Which of them is correct? We know that when we have convex lens, it is a principal axis, convex lens, optical center, focus, center, focus, center. When light ray is passing the optical center by this point, what happens to the light ray? Yes, it will pass without a refraction. It will pass in the same direction without any refraction. So the correct answer of this question, number three without refraction. That is the correct answer. Question number two. Lens is placed in the passage of sun rays. This means that we will form image of sun. A very small image is formed. As sun is very far from us, so the image will be formed as one point on focus, this point at distance equal 10 centimeters. So the focal length of this lens equal 10 centimeters. The same lens is used to obtain virtual, enlarged, and erect image of the body. These properties will be formed for the image when the object at distance, yes, I can hear you, less than focal lens. This means that you must place the object at distance less than focal lens, which is equal 10. The correct answer in front of you, 10 or 20 or 4 or 50, less than 10. So the correct answer must be 4 centimeter. That is the correct answer. Question number three. An incident light ray falls on a plane mirror. In front of you, a picture of light ray that falls on plane mirror. It reflects and the angle of reflection equals what happens when light ray falls perpendicular on the reflecting surface or on plane mirror? It will reflect on itself. It will reflect on itself. This means that the angle of incidence may be equal zero or 90, 180, 30. Which of them is correct? Yes. The angle of incidence must be equal angle of reflection equal zero. The correct answer, zero. When light falls perpendicular on the reflecting surface, it will reflect huh, on itself. Yes. As the angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal zero. Number four. Question number four asks you about in a lens, the radius of curvature equal 20 centimeters. So its focal length equals 5, 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 40 meters. Which of them is correct? When the radius of curvature equal 20 centimeters, so focal length equal half a radius, equal 20 divided 2. 20 divided 2 equal 10 centimeters. Question number 5. Convex lens with focal length 20 centimeters. And an object was placed 
40 centimeter from the lens. What is the relation between 40 centimeter and the focal length 20? 40 equal double focal length. This means that the object becomes at distance double the focal length or on radius or on red center. What are the properties of image that will be formed? Real, inverted, equal in the lens. Where is the image will be formed? Yes, on center of curvature from the second side. This means that this image will be formed at the same distance, equal double the focal length, which is equal to 40 centimeters. The correct answer. It is the standard case as we can know the length of the image from this case as the length of image equals the length of object. Number six, an object when placed at distance less than the focal length of convex lens, the characteristics is of the image you form it off. I asked you about the properties of images that will be formed when the object is placed at distance less than focal length. To draw this case, you first you must draw principal axis after that convex lens, optical center, focus, center of curvature, focus, center. Where is the object? At distance less than focal length. Object in this point. You must draw straight lines that divide the convex lens to two halves. The first ray passing parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing through the focus. And the second straight line passing by optical center. There is no intersection point between these refracted light rays. So we will draw extension for these rays. What happens? This rays will be intersected behind the object to form this image. What are the properties of this image? Number one, virtual. Why virtual? As it will be formed due to intersection of extension of refracted light rays. The size or the length of the image becomes greater than the object, so it is enlarged. And it is applied with the same arrangement of the images. So the correct answer, virtual, upright, enlarged. The properties of this image, virtual, upright, enlarged. Question number seven. When the object is at the center of curvature. A concave mirror, the image is this object at the center of curvature of a concave mirror. The image is real inverted and smaller, real inverted and equal to the object, virtual inverted and enlarged. Which of them is correct? Yes, I can hear you. You know that this is the standard case in which is the object equal the length of image. So the properties of this image, real, inverted, and equal to object. The correct answer number B, which has different color. Number eight, an object when placed at distance less than the focal length of convex lens. Properties of image that be formed, yes, we know that when the object at distance less than focal lens, the image will be formed has many properties. Number one, virtual. Number two, upright. Number three, enlarged. Virtual, upright, enlarged. Number nine, concave mirror with focal length 20 centimeter. And the object is placed at distance 50 centimeter. From the mirror, the image formed at distance more than 40 centimeter, more than 20 and less than 40 centimeter equal to 20 centimeter. 
which of them is correct? Focal length 20. What is the relation between 20 and 50? 50 is greater than the double of the focal length. This means that the object at distance is greater than double of focal length. To draw this case, first, principal axis, concave mirror, focus, center, bool. Where is the object greater than double focal length? First, draw straight line parallel to principal axis. It will reflect passing through the focus. Draw straight line passing by focus. It will reflect parallel to principal axis. Where is the object formed? The image will be formed between focus and center. Oh. Center, focus, between focus and center at distance greater than focal length and the smaller than double the focal length. So this image will be formed more than 20 and less than 40. What are the properties of this image? Number one, real. Number two, inverted. Number three, dimension. Question number 10. Spherical mirror where its radius is 60 cm. Its focal length is equal to 30, 120, 60 cm, 60 meter. Radius equal 60. So the focal length equal half a radius equal 30 cm. Question number 11. The focal length of concave mirror equal 10. To obtain virtual image, the body is placed at distance from the mirror pool equal when the focal length equal 20. And to obtain virtual image, we have only one case. When the object at distance less than focal length. So the object will be placed on Five centimeter. So the image will be found at distance less than focal length, less than 10. It will be at distance five centimeter. Number 12. The Romans use a huge optical base to burn the seals of enemies, ships, by use, use sun rays. What is the suitable optical base to do that? Romans use a piece to burn all ships of enemies. As they use this piece to collect all light rays, which has a heat energy to burn the ships. This piece is convex mirror, concave mirror, convex lens, concave lens. Which of them is correct? Yes, concave mirror. Why concave mirror? to collect all light rays on ships that produce heat energy to burn them. Question number 13. The optical base which form is equal, reversed image. What is the meaning of reversed? Means the lottery inverted. So the object is, we have only one optical base which form it reversed image which is, yes, plain mirror. The correct answer, plain mirror. Number 14, the image of the body formed behind the plain mirror is always virtual enlargement erect, real dimension inverted, real equal reverse it, virtual equal erect. He asked you about the probabilities of images that formed by plain mirror. The image that will be formed by plane mirror has many properties. Number one, virtual. Number two, upright. Number three, laterally inverted. Number four, equal. Number three, the distance between object and the mirror equal the distance between image and the mirror. 
the last one, the straight line join between object and the image perpendicular on the plane mirror. So the properties of this image, virtual, equal, erect. The correct answer number four, virtual, equal, erect. Give reason. Number one, the focal length of thick convex lens is less than thin convex lens. Why? Because the convexity of its lens face is larger, so the focus is nearer to the optical center. Again, because the convexity of its lens face is larger or is large, so the focus becomes nearer to the optical center. Number two, concave lens is used to trade a short sightedness. Why? Why short sightedness can be traded by concave lens to diverge light rays before falling on the eye? So the image will be formed on retina of the eye exactly. But when we suffer from short sightedness, the image will be formed in front of retina. To be corrected with concave lens as the image will be formed on retina of the eye. Number three, the long sightedness is treated by using the convex lens. Why? To collect the rays before falling on the eye. So the image is formed exactly on retina as when we suffer from long sightedness the image will be formed behind the retina of the eye to be corrected with convex lens to collect the rays before falling on the eye the image that is placed at the focus of convex lens doesn't form an image of it but when the object is placed on focus this means that there is no image will be formed. Why? Because refracted light rays are parallel. Because refracted light rays are parallel. Number five. The collecting lens has two bouquet, but the collecting mirror has one focus. Bouquet, many focus. The collecting lenses has two bouquet. But the collecting mirror has only one. Yes, because the convex lens or concave lens has two spherical surfaces. But mirror has one spherical surface. So mirror has only one focus and one center of curvature. But lens has two bouquet and two centers of curvatures. Six. Most of the people can't write by correct way while they are saying they're writing through plane mirror. Why? Because plane mirror for virtual erect lottery inverted image. Number seven, it is impossible to obtain real image by using convex mirror. Why? Why we can't get real image by using Convex mirror because it diverges light rays after falling on it. Because it diverges light rays after falling on it. Mention the position and the properties of the image formed of an object by means of convex lens in each of the following cases. Number one, the object is at distance larger than the focal lens and the smaller than twice focal length. This means that the object becomes between focus and center. Number B, the object is at distance equal to twice focal length. To draw the first case, first we have convex lens that contains two bouquet, two centers. Where is the object between focus and center? The first ray Passing parallel to principal axis, it will refract passing through the focus. The second ray 
passing through optical center without any refraction. The has one intersection point to form this image. What are the properties of this image? Number one, the properties of this image. Number one, real, inverted, enlarged, and at distance greater than double the focal lens. Number two, explain only by drawing the formation of image equal to the object by means of convex lens. Where is the object at center? Where is the object at center? The first ray parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing through focus. Second ray passing through optical center. Where is the object to form it at center? The probabilities of this image, number one, real, number two, inverted, number three, equal in size. Another question. Convex lens with focal length 10 cm. An object was placed at distance of 30 cm from the lens. According to the distance of the object image from the lens and dimension and properties. Where is the object at distance 30 cm from the lens? Its focal length 10. This means that the object at distance greater than double the focal length. The first ray comes from this object parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing through the focus. The second ray passing through the optical center to form an image between focus and center. What are the probabilities of this image? Number one, re. Number two, inverted. Number three, dimension or is small in size. One of the student makes the lens near to one of its eyes and see through it. He observes that the image of the object seems erect. After the lens becomes far to a certain distance from one of its eye, he observes that the image of the object seems inverted. The student concludes that the lens must converge. What is the meaning of convergent? Convex lens. Is the conclusion of a student correct or incorrect? Explain your answer. Why this conclusion is correct? This conclusion is correct because only convex lens form two types of images, maybe real inverted or virtual upright. So this conclusion is correct for the student, correct as it is convex lens. As this lens form real inverted image when the object at distance greater than double focal lens or on the center or between focus and center and also when the object is very far from the lens. But there is only one case to form a bright image when the object at distance less than the focal lens. So the conclu conclusion of this student is correct. Complete the path of rays. In front of you, an object placed at distance less than focal lens. First, the first ray falls parallel to principal axis. It will refract passing through focus. And the second ray passing through the optical center. There is no intersection point between them. We will draw intersection point for this ray to form image behind the object. What are these properties of this image? Number one, virtual. Number two, a bright. Number three, enlarge it. Convex lens has its focal length equal four centimeters. An object is placed at distance of six centimeters from the lens. Determine the position of the formed image and its properties by drawing only two light rays. 
focal length equal 4 centimeters. The object is placed at distance 6. This means that the object between focus and double the focal length. First, first ray to principal axis, it will refract passing through focus. And the second ray passing through optical center. This image will be formed at distance greater than double focal length. Greater than double focal length. What are the properties of this image? Real, inverted, and enlarge it. Problem number one. An object is placed at distance 8 cm from the pole of the mirror. A real minimized image was formed. And when the object moves 2 cm towards the mirror, a real and equal to the object image was formed. Object placed at distance 8 cm from the pool of mirror. What are the properties of image? Real, minimize the image, was formed. And when the object moves 2 cm, it becomes at distance 6. Real and equal image formed. This means that at distance 6 cm, the image will be formed, real, inverted, equal. This means that the radius equal 6 cm. Find the focal length. Focal length, first, what is the type of mirror? And calculate its focal length. The type of this mirror concave. Why? Because it is the only mirror form real image. Number two, show by drawing the path of rays in the first case. When the object is placed at distance, greater than the double focal length. The type of this mirror, concave. Focal length equal the radius, which equal 6, divided 2 equals 3 cm. To draw this case, first, concave mirror, principal axis, focus, center, first ray passing par parallel to principal axis, it will reflect passing through the focus. Second ray passing through the focus. It will reflect parallel to principal axis. Where is the image will be formed between focus and center? What are the properties of this image? Real, inverted, and dimensioned. Excellent, my dear student. Problem number three. A body of length 1 cm is put at distance of 4 cm from concave mirror. Its focal length equal 2 cm. Draw a diagram to show the path of rays at which the eye can see the image of the body. Then mention the properties of this image. Where is the object? At distance of 4 cm. Focal length 2 cm. This means that the object becomes at distance greater than the double focal length. The images will be formed at center. Parts of this image real inverted equal. Concave mirror, principal axis, center. The first ray parallel to principal axis, it will reflect passing through the focus. The second ray passing through the focus, it will reflect parallel to principal axis. Where is the object? The image will be formed on center. Properties of this image, real, inverted, equal. Be attention. On the chat, there is a link for playlist for all videos on YouTube. At the end of the session, thank you for listening with you, Ms. Amal Maruf. Good night and peace be upon you.